Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. We're going to be mixing things up here at Ruby Thursday, and I'm going to be releasing a course on a weekly basis. And because you are already a subscriber, you get to take the course for free. But you want to keep up with it because after every unit, I'm going to lock off those episodes, and then only people who have purchased the course can watch those episodes. More information about how to purchase the course and a couple of fun extras will be coming out in a couple weeks. For now, you get to watch it for free. So what is the course? We're going to be building a clone of Airbnb, and I'm going to call it Better Than Airbnb. Why is it better? Well, because we made it, and we can use the code for whatever we want. I'm going to be including some higher level features especially for those of you who have been coding on Rails for a little while. In this first lesson, I'll just be going over those features and what you can expect to see in this course. So sit back and relax and enjoy the first lesson of Better Than Airbnb. Welcome to Better Than Airbnb, a Ruby Thursday course. I'm your host, Melissa Wanish. In this first lesson, we'll be going over the course features, as well as an overview of the units and the lessons in those units. Let's get right to it. Better Than Airbnb features an emphasis on behavior-driven development. So that includes feature tests supported with unit tests. Lots and lots of testing. It'll be great. Number two, workflow tips as if building for a client or as part of a team. So I'll introduce you to the basics of agile development and we're gonna track our tasks on Pivotal Tracker. This helps a lot when you're working on a team or even for a client. You wanna document everything because they're paying you for certain things and not for others. Number three, Integration with popular third-party products, right? Of course, we have authentication with Devise. We'll be going over authorization with Pundit. We're gonna upload images with Paperclip and AWS S3. We'll be tackling search with Elasticsearch. We'll be handling transactional email with SendGrid and payments and profit sharing with Stripe, which is a pretty advanced feature. Other advanced features includes calendar and scheduling, private messaging, and reviews. When you're going to build any kind of project, you need to plan the project. So in unit one, we're going to be going over an overview and planning. So here we are in lesson one, the overview and welcome to the course. In the next lesson, we'll be going over agile development and user stories. And in lesson three, we will be creating a model map. It's like a blueprint for your whole app. It keeps you on course. In unit two, we'll be implementing authentication and profiles. So we'll build that registration and authentication with device, authorization for user types with Pundit, and then we will build our profiles for both guests and hosts. In unit three, we'll implement the user story host posts a location. So we need to create a location. We then need to upload images of that location with Paperclip and Amazon Web Services S3. And then we'll work on calendar and scheduling for when these rooms are going to be available. In unit four, we'll work on the guest side. So the guest books a location. So we'll have search with Elasticsearch. We'll create that booking. We will implement payments with Stripe and then profit sharing with Stripe and then transactional emails with SendGrid to let everybody know that the room was booked. And then we'll set up reminders about that booking with Active Job. In unit five, we will create a review and create a message. Then we have some extras in unit six. We'll have the views of the upcoming bookings for guests and hosts. Then, of course, there's the unfortunate thing of cancel booking, so we do need to include that. 
then we'll look at our testing coverage and wrap up any loose ends. We are going to have a theme for this app and it's going to be superheroes because they travel a lot, so they need a place to stay. And things happen at last minute, so you know, a better than Airbnb app would be very helpful for them. So you'll see a lot of references to different superheroes throughout the course. I hope this makes it fun for you as well. I hope you enjoyed this first lesson of Better Than Airbnb that you're enjoying for free because you are a subscriber. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, click that big red button right there so you can do so. You get the episodes just a little bit before everyone else. And of course, you need to be on my mailing list. There's lots of fun tidbits in the emails as well. So head on over to rubythursday.com to sign on up. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and see you soon.